welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today I'm going to show you how to play Canon in D. This is a beautiful tune and a beautiful arrangement. And it's taken from different arrangements that are out there about Canon in D. This uh, a rock guitar arrangement for this, uh, different finger style arrangements. So it's kind of a mixture of that. So if you liked it and you would like to learn it, then definitely go ahead. It's not that difficult. It's It starts off very easy. We keep adding different melodies in the same chord progression that's happening in the song. All right, so let's get right into it. You don't need any cable for this song and it's in standard tuning in the key of D, obviously, Canon and D. All right, so let's start. So the beginning, just playing two notes on each chord. So we start out by doing open on D, D string over here, right? So open on the fourth string, and you've got second fret on the first string. You're going to pick them together. Next, you come to A, and over here you have open on fifth string and open on first string. Pick them together. Now you come to B minor, and for now you just need second fret on the fifth string. That's going to be your B note, and you have third fret on the second string. Right, pick them together. Next, you come to F sharp minor chord, and again over here, second fret on the top string and second fret on the second string. Now you come to G, third fret on the top string, open on second string. Back to D, so open on fourth string and second fret on third string this time. Come back to your G, then come to A. For A, we are playing open on fifth string and second fret on the second string. All right. So if you put that all together, you have D, A, B minor, F sharp minor, G, back to D, G, and A. So what we're doing is third fret on second string, open on first string, and then so here we're picking open on fourth string at the same time we're doing hammer on from open to second fret on the first string. Okay, so and then you're going to play third string, second fret, second string, third fret, first string. Second fret. So, I come back to A major. So here, what we're doing is we're picking fifth and first string open together. Then we're picking second fret on fifth on fourth string, second fret on third string, second fret on second string. So. Now we come to B minor. Okay, so put your B minor chord on. You're going to pick uh, B minor. I hope you know how to play this chord. Just put that on. And then you're going to pick fifth and second strings together. And then pick fourth string, third string, and second string. Second fret on fifth string, fourth fret, fourth fret on fourth and third strings, and second fret on, and third fret, sorry, on the second string. So here what we're doing is, so 5th and 2nd strings together, 4th string, 3rd string and 2nd string. Okay, now F sharp minor. I play it this way, if you want you can play it like this, right? I just prefer to do it this way. So what I'm doing is, I'm first playing 2nd fret on top string and 2nd fret on 2nd string together. Then I'm picking 4th fret on the 4th string. Then I'm picking 2nd fret and 2nd fret on 3rd and 2nd strings. So. Okay. Now I come to G. So, second, second string open 
and top string third fret together fourth string open third string open second string open okay now come D so here what we're doing is we're picking fourth string open and on third string we'll be picking second fret together and again picking fourth string open third string second fret second string third fret so come back to G and do the same thing that we did last time on G okay now on A you do this okay so that's all you're doing open on fifth string second fret on second string pick them together and second fret on fifth string okay now you again start on D and you're going to do this so you end it over here on A now again start on D all over again and you do this right start like this so third fret on second string open on first string now hammer on on first string from open to second fret at the same time you're going to play fourth string open and third string second fret and third fret on second string so okay now you do this okay once again so you're doing a finger roll like this on A major chord so put A major chord on and from the fifth string uh, to the first string you're playing all these strings individually like this arpeggiated like that okay it's called a finger roll if you can't do it just do a strum okay and then so this is third fret on first string second fret and open Okay. And now. Okay, so fifth string, second fret, and third fret on second string, pick them together. Then fourth fret on third string. Okay. And open on first string, and third fret on second string. Okay. And then so this is second fret on top string and second fret on second string pick them together. Then pick second fret on first string and fifth fret on the first string. So Now you come to G and do this. So third fret and third fret on top and first strings. Second fret on first string, open on first string. Okay. Back to second fret. Sorry, third fret. So that's that's what's happening on G. Okay. Now you come to D and do this. So open on fourth string, second fret on first string, pick them together. Open on first string, third fret on second string, second fret on second string. So and now so coming back to G, doing a finger roll, open on oh, sorry, third fret on top string. Open on third string and second string, okay. Second fret on third string, open on second string, right? Third fret on second string, so and then so on A, what you're doing is open on doing a finger roll, open on a fifth string. Second fret on third string and second string. Okay. Third fret on second string. Open on first string. Then back to second fret on the second string. Okay. 
beginning. So let's take it from uh, the beginning over here. Now, we are going to again start the whole chord progression. Uh, starts on D like always. It goes like this. Come to A. So, so put your D major chord on. And then we are just picking 3rd string, 2nd string and 4th string together. And open 2nd fret, 3rd string, then 3rd fret. You can pick all these three, 3 strings together. Or you can do a finger roll if you want. Then on first two strings, we have second and third fret, going to pick them together two times. So that's what's happening on D. And now on A, again a finger roll, simple finger roll. If you can't do that, just strum. Okay. And then on B minor, second fret to fifth string. And then I play all these three strings together, fourth string, third string, and second string. Okay, same notes on as uh, we have on B minor chord. Okay, we're going to pick them two times. So first the bass note, and then pick them two times. And now so, then now again we're going to do a finger roll on F sharp minor chord. So F sharp minor chord, whole bar on second fret. And fourth and fourth fret on fifth and fourth strings. I'm doing a finger roll uh, from top string to the second string. Don't play the first string, okay? Like that. If you don't, if you can't do that, strum. Okay, and now. Okay, so 5th fret on 5th string and 7th fret on the 1st string, pick them together. Open on 3rd string and 2nd string and 2nd fret on 2nd string, okay? And now, so here you're picking open on 4th string, 3rd fret on 2nd string and 5th fret on 1st string, all 3 strings together. Then 2nd fret on 2nd string and then again 3rd fret on 2nd string. So from here and then okay, once again and now so, uh, as you can see we're doing a finger roll again 4th string open, 2nd string is 8th fret, 1st string is 7th fret, so like that. Come back to 2nd string, th uh, second string uh, which is your 8th fret, and 3rd string 2nd fret, 7th uh, fret, sorry. So, you want skin? So let's stick from here. So, open on 5th string, 10th um, fret on 2nd string, and 9th fret on 1st string. Bring a finger roll. Come to 7th fret on 1st string, 5th fret on 1st string. Okay? And right after that, right after you hit that 5th fret on 1st string, you're going to slide up all the way to the 10th fret on the 1st string. So, slide up and you pick that note and along with that you're going to pick open on the fourth string okay so let's take it from here then and then and now we're going to learn this okay so let's divide that whole thing so after this 
second fret on first string, uh, third fret on first string, and fifth fret on first string. So back to second fret on first string, third fret, and fifth fret. Along with that, you're going to have open on fifth string. So on skin. So, second fret on uh, your fourth string, fourth fret, second fret on second string, third fret. So, then fifth fret. So, then second and third fret on the first string. Now, so second fret and second fret on fifth and first strings, pick them together. Then three and five on the second string, okay? Then second fret on first string. So, now over here, you've got fourth fret on the fourth string. Open on third string, and now we do this. So the second fret on the top string and second fret on third string, pick them together. Then open on second string, then second fret on third string, open, then second fret again. Okay, so now you have. 3, 2, and 3 on the second string. Okay, so. So if we start from over here. Now we come over here. So this is 3rd fret on top string, open on 2nd string, pick them together. Then 3, 2 and open on the 2nd string, okay? Now 2 and open on 3rd string, okay? And now... So this is 2nd fret on 3rd string, open on 4th string, pick them together. Open on third string, fourth fret on fourth string, open on third string, second fret, fourth fret, and second fret on second string and third fret on second string. So let's take it from G and then okay, once again. And now, so this is open on second string, third fret on top string, pick together, then three, two, three on the second string, and then two and open, all on second string. So, and then in the very end. So this is second fret on second string and open on fifth string pick together and third fret on second string open on first string third fret on second string then all on first string open second fret third fret and fifth fret okay so So that completes our chord progression for this particular segment. So let me repeat everything once again from over here. Alright, 
Now we're going to repeat everything all over again, but there's going to be a few changes. Okay, so now what's going to happen is this. Okay, so the beginning is the same. Open on 4th string and 5th fret on 1st string pick together. Then 2, 3, 5 on 1st string. Once again 2, 3. And on 5, you pick open on 5th string. So. Now. This is also the same that we did the last time. 2nd fret and 4th fret on 3rd string then 2, 3, 5 on 2nd string and then 2 and 3 on 1st string so next this is also the same as we learned last time 2nd so fret and 2nd fret on 1st string and 5th string pick together then 3 and 5 on 2nd string then 2nd fret on 1st string, okay, then 4th fret on 4th fourth, fourth string, open on 3rd string, now here's a change, so this time we're picking 2nd fret on top string, 2nd fret on 3rd string together, open on 2nd string, then 2nd fret open and 2nd fret on 3rd string. Okay, so now fourth fret on fourth fourth string, then open and second fret on third string. So now we come over here. So open on third string and third fret on top string pick together. Open on second string, then second fret and open on third string. Then 4th fret and 2nd fret on the 4th string. Next you do this. So this is 4th fret on 4th string and open on 5th string pick together. Then 2nd fret on 4th string, open, 2nd fret, 4th fret, okay. Open and 2nd fret on 3rd string and open on 2nd string. So, next you do this. So, this is 3rd fret on top string, open on 3rd string, pick together. Open on 2nd string, 2nd fret on 3rd string. Open on 2nd string, 2nd fret on 3rd string, and open on 2nd string again. So. Alright, let's take it from over here. is open on 5th string and 2nd fret on 3rd string pick together, open on 2nd string, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, okay, and open 2nd fret and 3rd fret on the 1st string, so, let's check it from over here. to play A chord with 5th fret on the 1st string. So this is open on 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, and 5th fret. Alright, you're just gonna arpeggiate it like that individually. If you want, you can just strum like that. Alright, that completes another segment. Now we move to the next um, segment. So I hope you what, what well you understand what I mean by segment. It's basically the whole chord progression from D major to A 
to B minor to F sharp minor to G to D to G to A. That whole is you know one segment. All right. So now the next one goes like this. Okay, we're gonna learn that first. So D major chord. We're going to pick fourth string, third string, and second string like that. Back to third string, second fret. Okay. Then a slide from two to five on the first string. Then pick fifth fret on the first string and open on fifth string together. Then three on first string. Okay. Next to come over here. So there's a second fret and second fret on fifth and first strings. Third fret on second string. Then second fret and second fret on fifth on first and top string. Open on first string. And now So this is three and three on top string and second string, pick together. Open on second string, then D chord, picking fourth string, third string, and second string on D major. And fifth fret on the first string. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Sorry. So this is third fret and third fret on top string and first string. Pick them together. Open on third string. Slide from five to seven on first string. Back to five on first string. Along with that, you're going to play open on fifth string. Then third fret on first string. So. Okay, so that completes another segment. Next one starts like this. So on D major, you're going to pick fourth string, third string, second string, all right, like that. Then second fret on second string, third fret, open. So once again. Next, so this is open on fifth string, second fret on first on second string, pick together, second fret on fourth string, second fret on third string, open on third string. All right. Next on B minor, you do this. So the second fret and fourth fret on fifth and fourth strings, pick together. Fourth fret on third string, third fret on second str second string, and fourth fret on third string again. So, right. That's what we've learned so far. And now, so this is fifth fret on first string, second fret on top string, play it together, and second fret on first string. Slide from five to seven on first string, and now so this is three and three on top string and first string, second fret on first string, open and third fret. Okay, and now so this is second fret on first string, open on fourth string, pick together, open on first string, and third fret and second fret on second string. Okay, and now, so this is third fret on top string, open on third string, open on second string, a finger roll, and second fret on third string, open on second string and third fret, okay, and then, so 
this is open on fifth string, second fret and second fret on third and second strings, finger roll, and third fret on second string, open on first string, and second fret on second string. Okay, so. Now we move to the next segment. Starts like this. This is open on fourth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string. Pick all of these three notes together. And then just pick third string and then second string, right? And now, so this is seventh fret on second string, fifth fret on first string, pick together. Pick them once again along with that you're going to have open on fifth string. So sorry. And then so this is eighth fret on second string, seventh fret on first string, and five and seven on first and second strings, and three and five on first and second strings. This is 2 and 2 on 5th string and 1st string, then 4th fret on 3rd string, 3rd fret on 2nd string, then 2nd fret on 1st string, right? And then, this is 2 and 2 on top string and 1st string, 3rd fret on 1st string, 2nd fret and 5th fret on 2nd string, okay? Now, so this is 3 and 3 on top string and 2nd string picked together, and 2nd fret on 2nd uh, string, open, 2nd fret again, and then, okay, so, so basically this is open on 5th string and 3rd fret on 2nd uh, string picked together, open on 4th string, Third fret on second, second fret on third string, and third fret on second string. So we can just do like that. Okay, so starting from the beginning. Finger roll, third fret on top string, open on third string, third fret on second string. Now, on second string you have two, open, one. Okay, so then come on A major and do this. Let's open on fifth string, second fret on fourth, second fret on second string, pick together. All right, on A major, then fourth string, third string, second string, all second fret. So, sorry. Now you're going to repeat the first segment once again. So I'm just going to show you what you're going to repeat from here. All of this is being repeated from D major. So this is nothing we've learned already all, all of this part. It's just being repeated again. So let me show you how it all started, the first segment and the second segment, right? The first one was this. Right? And then this was different. You don't have to play this part second time. Second time you start similarly, exactly the same. All of this is the same. Now here's going to be the change. Alright, so let's 
understand this first. Third fret on top string, open on third string, third fret on second string, finger up. And second fret on second string, open. Hammer on from open to second fret, right? And then, so on A major, you're doing open on fifth string, second fret on third string, pick them together. Second fret on fourth string, second fret on third string. On second string, you're going to do a slide from second to third fret. Okay, so. Now, the very ending. Okay, so this is open on fourth string and third fret on second string picked together. And second and open on third string. Fourth fret on fourth string. Then a hammer on from second to fourth fret, and immediately after that, you have to do a pull off from fourth fret to second fret, and again a pull off from second fret to open. So, right, and then like that. Get it? So second fret to fourth fret, hammer on, pull off, and pull off again. Now fourth fret on fifth string, hammer on from open to second fret on fourth string. You can do a vibrato over there, and then open on fifth string, open on fourth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string, and open on first string. I'm just gonna strum that down. In the very end, you can do a harmonic uh, by keeping that D shape over there, and the second string. You can do that. So that's uh, nothing but a harmonic. So that means uh, we've got third fret on second string, right? You're gonna add 12 more frets into that. So 12 plus three is 15. So on the 15th fret over here, on the second string, you're going to uh, place your finger, index finger, just lightly on the string, all right? Just lightly. If you press it, then you're not gonna get the proper sound. Just have like, just touch on the string. Just touch it over there, along with that third fret over there. 3 plus 2, 15, and then with the help of your thumb, you can pick that string, right? So touching the string with the next finger and picking it with the thumb, like that. Get it? So if I press it with my index finger over here, it's not going to happen, right? So I have to just gently touch it over there, and then with my thumb, just pick the string, like that. So, and then... That's optional. You can do that. It sounds nice. It's called a harp harmonic. All right. So that is it. That's how you play Canon in D. I hope you like the lesson. Um, I've also got a tab tutorial for this. Um, like, a, if you want to um, just read the tabs for the whole song with me playing along, uh, there's a tab tutorial that I link down in the description box below. It will be soon up in a couple of days. I'll put it there. Or you can also go to my channel. All right. So uh, thanks for all your support all the comments, all the feedback, all the likes. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time with another lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.